Here we have 10.3 writing a quadratic function given its zeros. So if I know zeros or the x-intercepts, um, if you have the zero or x-intercept at this value, whatever it is, then the factor will look like this. So it'll be the opposite sign inside the factor. Notice that this was a positive C and over here in the factor, it's a negative C. So what you do is if you have a quadratic with these zeros, um, the function is just going to look like x opposite sign, so minus 4, and then x opposite sign, so minus 1. Okay? Um, and then if you FOIL this out, you will get x squared minus 1x minus 4x plus 4, which is x squared minus 5x plus 4. And this is the quadratic function that they are looking for. Now, here's another example, but it says it wants a quadratic function whose only zero is 12. So here the function would look like x minus 12, because you use the opposite sign, but this by itself is not a quadratic. You need x squared for it to be a quadratic. And since this does not have an x squared, I'm going to have to place a square there, which still keeps it consistent, as in the only zero is going to come from this factor. But now, because of that square, I can FOIL this out, and I get x squared minus 12x minus 12x plus 144, or x squared minus 24x plus 144. And this is the quadratic that they're looking for.